Yes then guys, how are we all doing? My name's Morsi and welcome back to my channel. So last night EA dropped a decent bit of content. We're not a new promo, but something a little bit different. As you can see on the screen, we got Squad Foundations and they're kicking things off with the Era of Easy. I'm pretty certain they did the exact same thing last year and we had that Gravenberg car, which was fantastic. This year around, I'm not gonna lie to you, the cars look fantastic. I have just sweated away 10 squad battle matches to get my hands on this geezer. And this is the man that we're gonna be checking out in this video. You've got 61 days and four hours to unlock this objective. So you've got plenty of time. If you don't wanna grind it straight away, if this player who convinces you, I mean, there's no rough. But essentially to unlock this card is a bit of a grind. That's all it is. You've got to win 10 matches on squad battles on professional. You could do this on rivals. I would recommend squad battles. Just, you know, get a couple of goals, put your controller down, go away, do whatever you need to do. You've got to score eight goals, assist eight goals, and score using Eredivisie players. Just make sure you have seven Eredivisie players in your start squad so that is the objective completed for me guys you also unlock two more players alongside it as part of like the mini unlock process i believe it's a goalkeeper and a fullback that looks pretty decent the right back to be fair and there is also a center back that you can grind via uh, live foot friendlies so that is what we're going to do in this uh, player view here we're going to test out openda in a bit of live foot friendly action so the face stats on this card look fantastic belgium in the dutch leagues a little bit difficult only three star four star i was hoping for four star skills but three star isn't too shabby uh, but yeah, Belgium, Eredivisie, obviously you've got some great links uh, now with these objectives. But apart from that, you may struggle a little bit to link him into your team. But let's take a little look at the attributes. And wow, the man is lightning quick. 97 acceleration, 93 spin speed. We definitely don't need to touch that with the chem style. The shooting stats are great. The, the tap positioning, the finishing, the shot power, all are pretty much 90 across the board. Agility, balance, also exactly the same as the attack position and finishing the shot power. Reactions and the rest of the stats are a little bit lower. He can leap like a salmon with a 99 jump in, and he hopefully could score a couple of headers. Stamina, strength is both there, and trait wise, finesse shot. Not too shabby. So the card looks sick. I'm a big fan of this new objective, but let's go meet the boys we're going to be using in this player review. So these are the boys that I am going to be using around Openda. I am relying on him massively to carry me to a couple of Ws in this. I'm pretty certain for this life foot friendly objective, I only need to win about four matches or something along them lines. It should be super quick and easy. So fingers crossed the Penda steps up and puts the boys on his back. But the rest of the team is pretty much Ajax United. Uh, we got Anthony Kudus Martinez, a brand new card, Owusu. This guy is also part of the Appenda objective. You get him and this goalkeeper here as well as Openda in 10 squad battle matches. So very, very easy to get these sick cards. Tagli Fika, we got Rio Fernand in here. Uh, the, uh, what are these rule breakers? Uh, Sangare, Gravenberg himself and Gakpo. So the chem style we're giving the man is Marksman. I would 100% recommend it. We go up to 99 finishing, 95 shot power and the reactions, the ball control and dribbling get that nice little fine tuning. So enough waffling. I cannot wait any longer. I want to test out this beast. And let's get this objective grind on the go. So my opponent's team going into this. It's pretty much what you expect. Every single like SBC possible in the area of easy. He's got the objective cards. Both of us have the new man Openda. But come on now, boys. Let's get the W's flowing. I think you need 10 goals. So hopefully it's not just one nil rage quits across the board. And a few of my opponents stick it out. Well done, boys. The defending is solid. Let's get that counter-attack going. Kudus. Into big man, he's got the pace. He has the pace. It's pretty much maxed out. There's no way Timber should be catching him. We'll just take a moment to appreciate that save from Stecklenburg. The man's in his 50s and he's pulling off reactions like that. And that, boys. Come on now. Love that for Martinez. The high press is beautiful. A little double A. Waiting on goal across the keeper. There's power, but he's put it wide. 99 finishing with the, uh, the cheeky marksman chem style. Man's got to be hitting the target there. Okay, this uh, Wusu has ridiculous free kick stats. What have I seen? So much power. Oh my days. What? This card's insane. I can't believe... I've not scored a lot of free kicks in this game. And that was in literally incredible. And um, we get the 1-0 rage quit. I guess that's good. It's a win towards the objective. That free kick. That's a game number two. Let's get the momentum going. Keep it flowing, boys. Love another W here. Let's see if we can get our main man on the score sheet, though. It feels quick off the bat. It does feel quick. I mean, you would hope so. 
The lack of skill moves is unfortunate, but the strength, the body type. Hold up. Nah, ref, you are taking the pit. A little give and go here. Use the pace to get in behind. Claudio Fico picked that pass. That's beautiful. Little finesse. That is an unreal save. But Kudus. Big man Kudus. And that's going to be another 1 0 rage quit. It is? It is. Happy days, boys. What have we got up next then? Okay. That's more like it. A bit of delete in there, a bit of grab and burk. None of these special cards. Hopefully this is a game. Openda. Three games in, yet to score, lad. Is this the time to shine? Oh, I'll tell you what, his acceleration is ridiculous. A little fakey here. This is where I missed the La Croquettas, to be fair. Go on, grab back. Ping that. Alright. It's decent. Through the middle. He should have the pace and acceleration and the finish. I'm pretty certain the keeper saved that with his face. Oh, Sangare fighting for the badge. Little one here. Beautiful. Openda, keep running. Little through ball. Take it in your stride. Finesse that. There's the goal. That was a long time coming. Three matches is what has taken me to get a goal of Openda. Another rage quit. Fantastic. We're getting a step closer to the objective. But he's on the score sheet. Is floodgate season approaching? What we got him next then? A bit of Desai holding down the midfield. It's a decent looking team. I'm not going to lie to you. But Desai is not a one-man army. I'm pretty confident a Pender's going to step up to the plate here. So guys, what do you think of this little, uh, little objective grind? Are you a fan of these cards? I absolutely love them in FIFA 21. And I hope they're going to do it for the majority of the leagues. I'm pretty certain they will. I don't know who's going to be up next, but I've seen a couple of leaks that apparently... We're going to get one on Tuesday and potentially next week as well. So hopefully there's a lot of content to grind. Come on, Owusu. Drive in. Lovely pick out. A pender. Little roulette there. Oh, it's beautiful. Is that... Okay. The I thought I hit my own player for a second. Hold up. Is that Openda? i tell you what, you're getting a little two-for-one player view action here because my opponent's using the card as well and that strike was insane. Ooh, yeah, that felt good. That felt good with the man across the goal in the back of the net. The dribbling there and the acceleration. All right, I don't know what defenders my opponent's using, but that man felt decent on the ball for a second then. And of course, he finds the back of the net with the left foot. The finish did look a little bit suspect, but I am not complaining. That is the goal back, and that is the goal that hopefully is what uh, carries us into the little comeback. That is a great pick out as well. Openda, near post. Probably should have gone across goal, but decent bit of power on the shot. This goal is decent as well, boys. I've got all these cards. I'm having a field day right here. Decent pick out. That is a pick out. That is a save as well. This fullback man cracked out big cracked out geese. Oh, are we on side? It's gotta be. And it is. Clinical finesse shot finishing. 99 finishing with the Marks McKen, the finesse shot trait. This man should be lethal on his finesses. Nice bit of play. A pender turning into the link up man. We got boys in the middle. One of them is a pender making his way. That is a beautiful pick out and a little toe poke finish. I'm pretty certain that's a hat trick for this game. Oh, that is a fantastic pick out. What a header. Oh, pender. This is what I'm talking about. Four goals from the man. I'm pretty certain it's the perfect hat trick as well. Uh, a little header action there. Decent bit of play for Mantini. We're testing that salmon leaping. He's got 99 jumping on the card. Decent heading accuracy as well. And you can tell by the state of that finish. Have a bit of that then. Off the bar and in. I love a woodwork finish. But that's five goals for the man Openda in this one. I mean, can you get much better than that? Well, you can get six, I guess, but we'll take five. So that is where I'm going to leave the review. We got six goals in four matches with the man. Pretty certain we got five in one match, which is insane. And some fantastic finishes in that game. We utilised the finesse shots. He should be super lethal. With the finesse shot trait and top tier finishing, this man should be scoring for pretty much anywhere. Left foot and right foot, he was clinical. He can leap, he can score with his head. Overall, a super fun card to use, as well as these two down here. Awusu's free kicks are ridiculous. And this Bijlo, 
insane goalkeeper. I'm not going to lie, I am really excited about this new objective grind. It gives you something to do within Ultimate Team, away from foot champions on the weekends and Div Rivals, and you get the chart cards that you normally don't try. Break away from the meta, have a bit of fun, and I'm not going to lie, as soon as I get that centre back, this little strong link uh, trio here between the keeper, the right back, and this new Makatosh Giza going to be decent. But overall, my opinion on Appender, should you unlock this man 155,000%? Yes. Grind the squad battles, guys. It is worth it. 10 matches, who cares? Put your feet up, walk the dog, score a couple of goals, leave the controller, do whatever you need to do. Just get the games done, get this man unlocked, and uh, have a bit of fun. Anyway, I've been Morsi. I've enjoyed as always, guys. If you did, please drop me a like on the video. Leave me a comment. Let me know which league you want to see next in these kind of squad foundations. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Or fundamentals. I don't know. I'm going to leave this before I butcher it anymore. But I'll catch you very soon for another video. Take it easy.